Hey guys, welcome back to another video on the channel and in this video, we are going to take a look at the Lineage OS 23.1 based on Android 16 QPR1 which brings a lot of new UI changes to the system and we are going to explore all those changes in this particular video. So without wasting any more time, let's take a look at it. So guys, this is Lineage OS 23.1 and as you know, Lineage OS is the most reliable custom ROM for a custom ROM user. If someone is installing a custom ROM for the first time, they choose Lineage OS. So this is it. And we have the Lineage OS 23.1. Now Lineage OS with Android 16 was launched with 23.0. Now it's with the QPR1 tag, the new Android 16 tag has been released. And now we have QPR1 with new changes that actually give honestly the name to Android 16, uh, identity to Android 16, that it's different from the Android 15, its predecessor. So let's take a look at uh, like an in-depth look at it. First, we're going to explore the settings UI and oh, sorry My bad. So this is the settings UI and as you can see you have this colorful uh, uh, All the boxes are squarely rounded and you have the colorful icons looking really nice Which is not a minor change from the lineage OS uh, 23 or the Android 16, but a major change lies here within the quick settings and the status bar so as you can see the quick settings ui has been changed and it looks really nice with the newer font it has got uh, and you can see the blur effect the icons and we have uh, you know when the nothing os uh, was launched with its new version it had those uh, settings icons which can be expanded or you can set a smaller icon so it can fit a lot of icons and you can also expand and gives a very nice look to the device so you can expand any quick setting style you want or you can also reduce it to a smaller icon now the expanded tiles it was always present with the older ui but yeah now you can reduce it and get more space for all the icons in a single page and also you can check the status bar out uh, you can see the status bar it has some new wi-fi network and battery icons now for this one the specific build of lineage os the battery icon does not have a percentage on the home screen but if you take a look at the quick settings you can see the percentage and even on the lock screen you can see the battery percentage oh here it's not visible but yeah it's present on the quick settings only so this is a bug and it will be fixed in the newer build or maybe in the official build i don't know if there are any new builds available for the lineages unofficial but i will leave the link in the description for you guys to download and see for yourself if there's a new link and all the bugs are fixed regarding the ui now let's take a look at the app drawer and this is the app drawer so we get a handle uh, you know a handle here uh, which will specify that it starts with the app drawer at the top we have the search uh, bar and these are the apps very great uh, blur added here and you have this transparent uh, background to the app draw which gives its uh, identity it will show you that this is the app draw background a bit transparent than the home screen as you can see in the home screen we have a clear look we don't have that uh, transparent look also in the recent apps you can see this new logo minimal logo has been added it says no recent apps obviously when we open an app uh, and let's see this is the recent uh, app we have this new contacts uh, label and it looks really nice also we have the screenshot tab uh, in the middle and it looks so nice so minimal you can see even the background blur it suits the new android 16 uh, ui which has been uh, like changed in the uh, qpr1 which has made it more better and given an identity to the android 16. now regarding the volume panel as you can see this volume panel has this uh, larger uh, you know uh, which will make you identify where the volume bar is so let's uh, reduce it and this is how it looks it will just blend in you can see the audio icon just blending in and blending out whenever you choose to go down so that the icon doesn't go down below and it looks really nice and you have this uh, small uh, you can you know just press it and you can set the phone to mute we can also set it to vibrate so these uh, is the ease and accessibility uh you know for every user we don't have the volume panel on left option let's let's see if we do have because the one plus six has the volume panel on the left side let's move here into buttons 
Okay, so panel on left is present, but it does not show the panel on left. It only shows it to right. Let's disable it and see. Oh, it only shows it to right. So let's wait for newer updates and in new updates you can check or when there will be an official release build for the OnePlus 6 will be present for Lineage OS 23.1. I'm going to surely make a video on the new version 2 which will, you know, have all the bugs fixed. So these are the UI changes and some bugs are there to be you know fix but you can easily check out them later the fixtures for them will be available in the official build so that wouldn't be an issue also before ending the video i'm going to show you the wallpaper and style and there are some ui changes being done modified you can see this is how it looks now and if you have any more wallpapers live wallpapers it will show up here and you can choose them easily you can also move to move wallpapers and there are no wallpaper picker or other wallpaper apps here or other uh, you know wallpapers right now we only have the basic lineage os wallpaper then as you can see the animation how it blends you know the wallpapers into the wallpapers text the wallpaper button and you can click on here it does the same action going down you have colors contrast your basic stuff and going here we have the clock there are a lot of clock styles also but here on lineage we have the basic clock style also the font doesn't match we don't have the pixel font you have the basic android system font we can choose colors and sizes which will make it uh, smaller you can see you have seen this in, this in android 15 so it's not that kind of a change but yeah the ui regarding this has been changed and looks now nice and fluid the animations are good so guys as you can see these are the changes uh in the qpr one and now for the one plus six i have made directly the video regarding the is just 23.1 uh they were older versions 23.0 which was the basic android 16 but it was not that much stable or maybe i did not look at around it a bit but yeah i got this 23.1 build and i hope when lineage os officially comes with android 16 we get a 23.1 as a build the first build we get the with the new qpr1 tag hopefully so that's it for the video i hope you guys like the video if yes press the like button or not then the dislike button for the installation, I don't think there's a need to, you know, uh, put a separate uh, installation here that will just move up the length of this video. But yeah, if you want to install this or you can also wait for the official lineage installation, I will surely do that. But if you want to install this, the installation will be same. You will have this link in the description or also in the I button here. And for the installation, there's one change. You have to flash the DTBO dot image and the boot image. Now, regularly we flash the boot image and the zip. First, you have to flash the DTBO, then the boot image, and the installation will be same. I'll put the instructions down below the description and an installation video uh, regarding the same, which the installation is same, so you don't need. Just flash the latest zips, which for all the download links are in the description. So make sure you download all the latest stuff and go to the installation video of Android 15, which is kind of same the lineage. And that's it guys. Uh, also, if you want to watch more of such videos on the OnePlus 6, you have to subscribe the channel and you can also join the channel as a member and support the channel. And uh, that's it pretty much. Goodbye guys. Uh, not goodbye, bye-bye. And see you guys soon. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.